check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Back to my channel. Today, I'm not gonna really do anything car related, it's more garage related, so. It's October, so we got Skelly riding along in the truck all month long. So I decided I needed some more storage in my garage as far as like a cabinet because I've got a lot of junk that I've acquired for this new boat that I have. And it's all just sitting on the floor. And I've just got some other odds and ends that are just making this garage look and feel cluttered. So Skelly and I loaded up the trailer and went over to Lowe's today. And we picked up this Craftsman 48 inch wide metal cabinet. Uh, looks like it's got three three or four shelves to, to store things on the inside and you can also do this huge combination workshop type of vibe here so i'm just going with the one single 48 and 48 inch wide metal cabinet and i figured what i would do is unbox this and put it together and uh kind of do a review on it at the end i think this is going to be pretty cool I, I opted to go with a red cabinet because I'm doing a blue and red theme on the bug and the red is just it's just kind of a classic color so I think I'm gonna put it right here next to this wooden cabinet that I built a number of years ago it does great it's heavy duty I can really load these shelves up but it's getting cluttered because I'm just kind of shoving everything in here to get it out of sight and I think I'm gonna put the red cabinet right here I'm gonna put this together on time-lapse you can watch if you if you don't want to skip ahead to the end of the video and I'll let you know my thoughts and then you can see it all put together. All right. Wow, these are always so much fun. <laughs> Not, let's get into this. Okay, so I unboxed every panel. Get rid of the box, get that out of the way. Got the sides, got the bottom, got a shelf, we got the top, we got a door panel, and then a couple more shelves here, and then the other door is here. So I'm just gonna take a quick glance through the user manual, see what we're working with. I really I'm not a huge fan of putting together assembling furniture, whether it's from Lowe's, Home Depot, Ikea. Ugh, it's, it's so miserable. I hate following directions. I like making my own stuff, but once in a while, pre-made stuff's just what you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow along step by step. Not too many steps here, about nine or 10 steps it says, so shouldn't be too bad. Keep your patience, deep breaths, and all will be well. Let's do it. All right, so as you can see, everything's pretty much being held together by standard nut and bolt. The nut is an 11 millimeter. Got the sides and the top on. There's actually more bolts to add here, but it's a lot easier. I'm thinking once I stand this up, I can get underneath of it a little bit better. Um, so I'm just gonna keep going. These nuts and bolts, put this all together. I'm gonna stand it up and then I'm, I'm assuming that's when the doors will go on easiest as well. All right, let's continue.
Okay, so I got it all together and I made one one mistake in following the directions. So I got the lock in and I realized that there's nothing for it to attach to. So in the directions it says install the shelves with the slot towards the back. However, I didn't see the one little picture where it said except for the one where your lock will be. So this this slot and the this shelf needs to be up here and the other ones need to be facing towards the back for whatever reason. So now I gotta take this middle shelf, unbolt it, and see if I can get it turned around and put it back in here. That way, when I lock my cabinet, it actually stays shut. So I'm gonna try that now. Looks pretty good, I'm digging the red. So what do you think, you like the new cabinet? Do you even notice it? Nope. Anyways, here's the final build. This thing's fully put together. It's uh, just right about six foot tall. It's a little, just, just a hair over my head here. Took about one hour to build. Now had I followed every single little picture in those directions, I would have realized that this shelf the slot needs to be in the front, on the middle shelf only. That way your, your key lock actually turned down and fit into that slot. So that wasn't fun. I ended up scratching up the inside of the wall trying to get this thing flopped back, you know, switched around. So make sure when you're putting yours together, if you do, put that slot up front on that middle shelf. Otherwise, just follow the directions, just a bunch of nut and bolts. And then we'll go ahead and shut this, get the rest of my stuff organized and we'll take all this junk and find a place for it here. I think this is going to actually be my Volkswagen Beetle cabinet. I think I'm going to just do all Volkswagen Beetle stuff in there. And then my gray cabinet here can be uh, cleaning stuff and then my boat stuff and miscellaneous stuff. But I love the way this thing looks. I mean, it matches, goes with the car here really well because I'm going to be doing the blue and red theme, so I'm liking it. Now we just gotta clean up all this mess. A lot of foam. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you determine which cabinet that you wanna get from Lowe's. I think the Craftsman's the best deal. It's as big as all the other ones, four, four foot wide, about 18 to 20 inches deep, and uh, six foot tall roughly. So this was $50 cheaper than the other two brands at Lowe's. Home Depot might have I know, I'm sure they got their own brands. I didn't even go there to look. I just went to Lowe's because it's closer to home. So hopefully that helps. I'm going to enjoy this yingling now. Because that was a lot of work and I hate doing that stuff. So I like drinking beer. But I can only have one and still get a workout today. So thanks for watching. See you next time on Punchy's Garage. Peace out.